Perfecting his timings. He's looking real bad for Zercha now. This got another a one. Even game, but he got him again. Thrown back into the orchid. He does have a BKB to be able to get rid of that silence, but next time he gets close, Tino might be able to catch him. I think it's these jumps are just free. It's, it's a stone run, then it's a skewer. These are low cooldown goes. You're not using like a big lasso or doom. You get another skewer here. That's a huge terrorize. A little bit smaller. They do manage to get a big terrorize. Is uh, with that bedlam cleaning up each one of them. Else is Mel hits the RP on it too. Locks down the Amber Spear. Finish him off with a last off over the top. The chain stuns are beautiful. But Young God breaks free. Pops his BKB. Goes on a Palos, but he's fighting for his life, and it's only this life. It's not the life of Palos who had the Aegis of Immortal, so a trade-off is well in the favor of uh, Execration. And it looks like that might just be the end of the game. A fight outside of the base that results in three, four heroes dead for over a minute with no buyback. Execration can take the whole goddamn Radiant base. Set in stone. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> Not even the fountain is sick. Mass tipping Rapido who tried to hide in his fountain to stay alive. Look at them go. They are going to skewer. <laughs> They're toying with him. They're going to get him as far outside of his base as possible. This is dirty. Oh this my god. We, have, we haven't seen in some time. This is extreme PM. Oh my god. They could have kicked him all the way back to the fountain and there would have been nothing he could have done about it. Who knows better?